What is up, YouTubers? Judge Joe here, and I got look. It's Artie. He's back on YouTube, guys. You guys remember him? Look, he got a little little facial. He grew up a little bit. But anyway, so we're here. We're playing standard, but Arthur here, he topped last week in standards. Our first week. Arthur, it's, can you confirm with the Niners? I got second. I lost to Kagura because I tried to high roll the game, and uh, it bit me in the ass. That's fine, because this week he already changed up the deck. We're going to share off that deck, and then you can judge him all you want. But anyways, Arthur, I'm going to let you take care of the rest of this video. So I'm just going to tilt this a little bit, show off this playmat. Oh my god! Oh. So basically last week I basically just played Glass Cannon Novas, and... It did pretty good. I feel like it's way high roll to where if I start losing, I'm gonna auto lose the game. But as long as you can control the tempo, you can play glass cannon. Uh, it was to the Kagro matchup pretty hard, which is why I changed it up to this. Uh, so basically, it just completely revolves around Perfect Riser. You're gonna run four copies. It's super consistent on hit pressure, everything. So you run the four. Counter Blast 2, you are running the hero engine, so Counter Blast 2 isn't really a big deal if you can manage your resources. Uh, 2, Battle Door Fighter, he has the Force Marker, plus he's a good rear guard. If you want to ride him, it's not that bad. Honestly, Counter Blast, so blast in this deck is in a lot. Now tell me, sir, is that skill on rear guard or Vanguard? The skill, for the first skill is on Vanguard only, but you do, the rear guard skill for getting the plus 5 is really good just because it hits for protect Excel numbers. Uh, while you do need to either have it on a Excel marker or have a booster for it to hit the force for a good number, uh, that's about it. But it's still a good rear guard and it helps with the hero engine. Um, maximum riser for maximum effectiveness. Just you don't have a back row, it's fine, it's 22. You have it on XL markers, 32. It's free, it's free damage. Uh, only three uh, blue customs. Uh, blue customs good for just getting an extra rear guard. Also the on-hit pressure if your item is pretty good. Delicious. Uh, best grade two in the deck, bat, but, burst riser. Bats, bats? Uh, bats? bats? This uh, is anybody fight. Might as well. Uh, just, Basically free restands, just overall good card. Kind of boss, so boss one, restand, attack against. Uh, key grade two in the hero build, uh, well one of two. As long as you have another hero out to 14k attacker. Like, you have a uh, battle door fighter, any other hero, the hero booster, you're swinging for numbers. And it's free, free plus 5k, oh, why not? Where's it? Uh, the glue that keeps the whole deck together, uh, boomerang. Boomerang boy, uh, you have no counter blast, no soul blast, you get it. It's free. This, this card is only good with cap bubble. Oh, I'm sure it is. And you have your right horn clone, uh, orange custom. Uh, you can put in, whenever you ride it first, if you're going first, you can put something in soul, feel your soul, as well as uh, get a free early swing. Normally, though, you either get a card out of their hand or trigger for later on, or you'll get a damage and get ahead. Uh, booster, it's ridiculous. So boss one gets plus five. Uh, Rocket Man, uh, it's pretty good. You just on boost. If you boost a hero, just you make numbers. Uh, Jet Riser, basically your panic button. Uh, you don't have great twos out. You put them out. Start calling whatever. It starts getting big and you can hit for pretty good numbers on Excel Circle or as a booster. Uh, trigger lineup. Uh, trigger lineup. I feel for Nova's. No matter who you ask, so it's always going to be experimental. Some people are going to be running crit. Some people are going to be running fronts. No heals. Heals. Uh, right now, just standard cookie cutter. Four draw. Obviously, the perfect guard. Uh, and right now, I was running a draw, a crit, but I switched up to fronts because it's uh, you're going off perfect riser, so your recent are con consistent. And then your four heals because he helps you with guarding and he helps you in the Kagro matchup to get behind. And of course, since you're running blue custom, you're running Battle Riser. Uh, overall, deck's just meant to be more consistent and less glass cannon. You basically, if you're playing against Kagro, you're not gonna play any rear guards until you ride custom and you're just gonna try to go and pressure them as much as you can. If they hit a trigger, you have 
big hitters like Cup Bowler and Rocket Hammer Combo. You can hit numbers with Maximum Riser. Battle Door Fighter hits your numbers with any booster. Uh, and that's overall the deck. I mean, combos in this deck, there aren't really many. Everything's pretty self explanatory. You put these two in the same column, you put whatever else in your Excel circle. You're on Perfect Riser, you swing at the rear guards, you restand the rear guards with Perfect Riser. This is gonna get big. Even if they get a trigger, it's still gonna hit them. Double trigger, yeah, that's just bad luck. But overall, and then front triggers, every front row is always gonna be a restand. Oh, the intercept. Uh, you're pretty much gonna be good to go. Front triggers are a blessing when you have a full board. Uh, Cogro and Standard doesn't have Denial Griffin, so you're good to go on that part. Overall, that's the deck profile. I'm obviously pretty happy with it. Uh, after today, some things might change up, some things might be bumped up, some things might, might be bumped down. Uh, Boomerang at 3 might go up to 4 if I feel like I really need it. But overall, it's been working out fine. Maybe bump up Blue Custom to 4. But the fact that he's not a hero is what... I chose to bump him down to 3, he does make a board. But against Cogra, usually that's going to get retired anyways. But overall, yeah, I really like the deck. Uh, I picked up the XL Clan mainly because it's more combo heavy, it's less straightforward, like Force Clans, the out Royal Paladins off the bat, like they can get a board early turn two, and that's cool. But afterwards it's right Alfred, Counter Blast 1, Call Blaster Blade, pa attack, next turn, Counter Blast 1, Call Blaster Blade, attack, pass. Waterfall is just okay. I didn't. I did. I did my overlord. Okay, next turn. Waterfall. Turn after that. Waterfall. It's like I don't really find that very fun. At least with the, all these rear guards restanding, uh, you get a lot of combo attacks off. It's really fun. OTT is also the whole deck stacking and doing the whole revelation ability that I think are it's pretty cool. So then there's two decks I'm playing right now. And when Destructive War comes out, I will be playing uh, Mega Colony, just... I feel the whole early game, I'll get grade threes and just start spamming out rear guards. Uh, it's pretty fun, we've been proxying that. Uh, a lot of with Touch Kaze, Touch Kaze seems really strong. Spike Bros, we haven't tried that out yet, but they seem really strong. Uh, overall, that's my deck profile. Uh, if you have any questions, you can... Uh, comment on the channel I'll respond to it uh, also check out my YouTube channel hey it's already hey it's already with the Z all one word I know right ten years ago that's what you get uh, but yeah I'll be probably posting a deck profile of my OTT eventually but it's pretty cookie cutter so maybe I'll try to change something up maybe do an, a different build but overall Thanks for watching, guys. I'll let JoJo sign himself out. Oh my God, I this is JoJo Doe signing out. <laughs>